Hi, I'm Amy Dixon, Bowflex Fitness Advisor, and this is your at-home chest workout. So let's get to it, you guys. We're gonna start with a mobility warm-up just for the chest. Just start swinging your arms out and in, and as you do this, send some breath into the body, in and out through the nose. Perfect, you guys. And just squeeze the shoulder blades together when you get to the back. Excellent, let's do four more of these. Here's three, here's two, here's one. Now check this out, so chest opener. Feet are about hip distance apart. Open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, push away. Let's do one more, that feels so good. Connect the shoulder blades, push away. And now it's time to really get after this workout. So this is a superset workout. You guys will take it down to the ground. The first exercise is a wide push up for 45 seconds. Bring it on down. Here we go, in five seconds, set it up so you make sure those shoulders are right over the wrists. You guys ready to lock and load? Here we go, let's go. 45 seconds. So on this, on this particular exercise, we're working on length through the body, so keeping those hips in alignment with the shoulders, chin is off the chest, but you're dropping that chest as far to the ground as possible, really activating through that chest. If this is too difficult, you can always drop it down to the knees. Now you guys, you are almost there. You have 20 seconds left. Think about pain-free range of motion. Execute that rep all the way from top to bottom. And if it gets too challenging, drop it to the knees. Your last 10 seconds, these count you guys. We're almost there. Fire it up to the end. You have five seconds. Can you get me one more rep? That's all I'm asking for. Two and one. Excellent job. 15 seconds to transition. Our second exercise here is a chest press. So you're gonna grab those dumbbells. I'll help you out there, Ryan. Awesome, pick them on up. And bring your legs up to a tabletop position. So connect the legs, arms are out. And now from here, go ahead and lift it up. We're into that next 45 seconds. So in this position, we're also getting a little core. And you're working on reaching those dumbbells directly up over the chest pulling back down. So it's not just about the press, it's also about the pull. Notice how their form is flawless. So you've got those knees right over the hips, legs are connected, lower back is in the mat. And are you guys breathing? How you feeling? You good? Hanging in there, 15 more seconds. And then we do a superset of those two exercises. We run it through one more round. Keep going. Work on that extension, focus on the breath, Focus on the pull, you have three seconds. Give me one more rep, because you can, and that is perfect. Great job, put those dumbbells right back to the side. And now, we're gonna get after this one more time. So we're gonna hit these push-ups again in four seconds. Great work, guys, I know. Only one more time here. Take those arms out, ready, set, let's go. Down for 45 seconds, so arms are nice and wide. So you're taking those hands out, focusing on Dropping down, elbows to the outside. Hips are in perfect alignment with the shoulders. And it's really about length, from the crown of the head all the way through the heels. Now notice, right here, Lisa's dropped down to the knees. And I love that because number one, she's gotta get herself to where she can really execute that full range of motion. And that's what it's about. If you can't move down and up, you gotta drop to those knees and you can still get a great push-up in. Looking great over there, Ryan, keep it going. Only five more seconds and this push-up is done. You're here, guys, one more rep, give it to me. Awesome work, 15 seconds. Right back to that chest press. So I'll help you here, pick up that dumbbell. And now lift those legs up, you don't have to hit it yet. Five seconds to go, lift it up, focus on the work, and let's do it. Lift up, pull down. So this is really about your focus on how you execute movements. When you're thinking this through, full range of motion, pain-free, and lifting a weight that will fatigue your chest. If you don't feel it, you don't have the right weight. So make sure that you pick something up that's gonna fatigue you in 45 seconds. Good news, guys, you're more than halfway. You're almost through this first super set of exercises, and then we have two more. Keep it going, guys almost home, you have 10 seconds left. Think about that push and that pull. Really working on the breath as you do this. And that's it, wonderful job. Your first superset is over. We have 15 seconds to get to our second two exercises. So this first one is a triceps push up and reach. You guys ready to go? Here we go, in three, two, one. Go ahead, drop it down. Allow those elbows to hug 
the ribs. So you can bring it to the knees and really concentrate on not allowing those hips to shift too much on the reach. One way to get this done if your legs are longer is to bring your feet out a little bit wider. So a wider base of support will allow you to really extend through that reach and not allow those hips to drop. You guys are really crushing this. You have 20 seconds left. Take your time. Think about range of motion, full range of motion, pain-free, but you should feel fatigue in the chest and in the backs of the arms and in your abdominals. I know you guys are here. You've got five seconds left. Keep fighting at home. You're doing great. Two and one. Great job, guys. 15 second rest to transition. Now, our second exercise is a chest fly with a single leg hip bridge. So what I want you guys to do is come up into the hip bridge first and send your left leg up into the air. Good, extend it. Shoulder blades in contact with the mat and now open and close. So in this position here, this is a very advanced version of this exercise. I always love to add a little extra abdominal work as well and also for the glutes and those hips are, in, are firing. Shoulder blades are in contact with the mat. Open and close and breathe. Your head should still be on the floor and you're looking at how far can you get your arms out and back in without allowing those dumbbells to touch the floor. You guys, you look fantastic. You have 10 seconds left and we're done with the first round. We have one more round to go. Five seconds, can you give me one more repetition? Get it done. Three, two, one, great job. And now we're right back to that triceps push up and reach. You guys still have eight seconds. Take a moment and breathe. Timing's about to start in three, in two, and one. Here we go, guys. One more time through this. Give me that triceps push up, reach that hand out in front, and think about how to fire up that core. So when you're reaching, you're bracing through the core rather than sucking those abdominals in because your breath is really important. Feel the work in the chest, drop down low. Oh, good, you guys. Hips are still looking great, even in the body without allowing those hips to rock or to dip. Only 15 seconds left and you're done with the push-ups, guys. Right there, good. Elbows hug the ribs, keep working on this. Different angle of the hands, different muscle fibers, we activate. Five seconds. If you have it in you, give me one more repetition because you can and you want to. Great job, you did it. One more time through on this chest fly with the single leg bridge. So now you're gonna use the other leg. Come on up into the bridge. Timer starts in three, two, and one. Now, hips are up. Try to drive the hips up, really looking at a hip extension, okay? So you want an extension to the hips. You guys, your form looks fantastic. Your knee should be right over the ankle in that hip bridge. If this is too difficult at home, you can absolutely bring those feet down and you can even relax the back so that it's in contact with your mat. Guys, it feels so good to be better than halfway, doesn't it? You have less than 20 seconds to go. Think about how you wanna fire up that chest. Finish strong, that's what matters to me. Keep going. Your last 10 seconds and you're there, you guys. Five seconds to go, squeeze at the top, in three, in two, and in one. You guys are absolutely phenomenal. Bring it up to a standing position. Take your time. Boom, boom. And let's finish it just the way we started, getting some mobility back into the body. Open and close the chest. You should feel so proud that you just conquered that at-home chest workout. Roll your shoulders back. Give me one more big roll. And the last thing we're gonna do is open up the chest, look up, exhale, push through, and now you are done. You did it. Great job with your at-home chest workout. Hey everybody, we hope you like this workout. To get weekly videos with workouts, fitness tips, and more, subscribe to our channel by clicking on our subscribe button.